this Reddit post uh, about a fresh grad complaining about working 44 hours has gone viral. But I'm surprised uh, that no one has spoken about something else. Eh. Huh? So, so, aso, uh, on 17 March, uh, someone posted this on Reddit Singapore. When I see the headline, uh, I thought that's a true uh, or a sarcastic question. Cause in case you didn't know, uh, the maximum and also the usual uh, working hours in Singapore for full timers is about 40 to 44 hours. So basically, uh, it's like asking, is it just me going crazy with the high amount of calories in a bag of potato chips? But this has gone viral uh, cause it's a real legit question uh, by a fresh grad. Apparently, uh, she said that, Ayo, the boss tell you so many times, uh, use the pronoun they uh, if they never specify what gender to use. Uh. She got what? Uh, got me? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she says she has to wake up at 5.45 am uh, and didn't have time uh, to have breakfast because uh, she has to take the public transport to work. By the time she's home, uh, it's 6.30 pm and after buffing and doing her chores, uh, it's at 7 to 8 pm and she's so tired uh, that she'll fall asleep. Only during her weekends, uh, then she could sleep or do the things she wanted. She then wondered uh, how she could survive 40 years of this. Uh. She then claimed uh, that with this schedule, she couldn't find a partner. Uh. She coded up skills uh, and claimed uh, this isn't sustainable. Now, this is why uh, women uh, should serve NS. Uh. <laughs> so, not surprisingly, uh, people all welcome her uh, to a world known as adulthood, uh, with some thinking that 44 hours uh, are considered good. Uh, oh. Now, uh, here's the thing that we can learn from this. Because uh, what this lady needs uh, is a more time, new job, or uh, you know, even a winning total ticket. Uh. She doesn't need anything tangible, but a change is something that many new fresh grads uh, need to know. What she needs uh, is to attend a training course uh, that promise you uh, that you can earn $10,000 uh, a day uh, with just $2,000 investment. So sign up now uh, and then you can buy the Lambo. Eh, 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 oh, wrong script. Uh. What she needs uh, is to embrace change. You see, it's universally accepted uh, that we are always facing changes. Some are forced upon us, uh, like after our A-levels of poly or ITE, uh, we are forced to go NS and then change our lifestyle drastically. Some uh, we do it willingly. But here's the thing. For the first example group, uh, it's hard to accept cause we are changing to something more painful. Maybe it's better, uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's painful. And many times, uh, we just have to suck tongue uh, and then go ahead with it. Uh. But what if the change uh, is much, much more painful? Which is what happened here. Uh. Commuting to work uh, is common for many people, but it's a drastic change uh, for fresh grads nowadays. Cause in the last few years, uh, remote studying uh, is common. So for a person to suddenly realize uh, they have to change to take public transport to work every day, uh, what is hell eh? Yeah, so this means uh, the problem is not the system. It's that nowadays uh, the change fresh grad have to go through uh, might be much more drastic. Old folks like us uh, won't understand since commuting to school uh, is common, so the change we undergo uh, isn't as drastic. Which could be one of the reasons uh, why Gen Z's uh, are being misunderstood as soft uh, cause the change they have to go through uh, is much bigger. Eh. So be kind to them, uh. don't be too harsh on them. Uh. Send them this, uh, send them that. Uh. If not, uh, they'll go sign up for an online trading course uh, that promises $10,000 a day uh, with just an initial investment. FBI, open up! Now, if you think I learned something, uh, consider subscribing uh, and also watch this video uh, to be slightly smarter.